The four-person crew of Polaris Dawn completing the first ever private spacewalk, the farthest into space in decades. News 6's Mark Lehman has been monitoring this mission and walks us through this really incredible moment. Got, got some fist bumps going on. Yeah. The Polaris Dawn crew giving each other encouragement as SpaceX pulled off a historic spacewalk early this morning. Dragon SpaceX event complete. With suits pressurized, Commander Jarek Isaacman opened the Dragon capsule, exposing all four crew members to the vacuum of space. A helmet cam giving us a first-hand view as Isaacman climbed through the hatch. Back at home, we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, Earth sure looks like a perfect world. And the view from 450 miles over the Earth was unlike anything else. How cool was that? It was extremely cool. It was even more exciting than, than I thought it would be. Dr. Ken Kramer runs SpaceUpClose.com and was with the crew before Tuesday's liftoff. This was a tremendous success. It was years in the making. Both Isaac Min and SpaceX engineer Sarah Gillis exited the capsule and did several mobility tests on the specially designed spacesuits. They hope to use these spacesuits maybe someday on Mars. Maybe they could use them on the ISS at one point. The spacewalk was the first ever for a private space company, and it happened after the crew went further than any astronaut in more than 50 years. Testing the suit's capabilities is an important step for SpaceX, which aims to take humans deeper into the cosmos. The next step in this mission is returning the astronauts to Earth on Sunday with a splashdown off our coast. The possibilities are, are limitless if we focus on the future and working together. Mark Lehman, Getting Results, News 6. It was a busy morning for SpaceX. Maybe you heard the sonic boom around 5 a.m. SpaceX launching a Falcon 9 from our coast, carrying five commercial satellites for a company called AST Spacemobile. Shortly after liftoff, the booster landed back on the Cape.